Hi guys, my name is Emily. Welcome back to my channel. As part of an endeavor to review everything that I read in the month of January, I am reviewing Girl Man's Up by M. E. Girard. So this is the story of Penn, a Filipino-Canadian teen who is a she seems to refer to herself as butch. She's a very masculine presenting lesbian. She's not out to her family. There's a language barrier between her Filipino parents and herself. So it's a very broken and tense relationship. Her mother especially really, really wants her to present in a more feminine way. And Penn just isn't interested in that at all. She's very, very much comfortable dressing in boys' clothes, hanging out with boys, behaving in a very masculine way. And so at the beginning of the story, we see Pen picking up girls for her friend. So her friend sends her over to sort of hook him up with girls because she's a girl, so it's safe safe for her to sort of introduce them and like make that connection. And all Colby does is hook up with them. He has very, very toxic ideas around how women should be treated, women as objects, women for conquest. And a lot of the language in the book actually looks at that. We see very clearly that Colby thinks of women as objects. And when Penn starts dating a girl that Colby has attempted to date in the past, he gets upset with her because she's getting in on his game. That's his territory territory and they actually talk in that terms like that is his territory that's his object to own to hit on to sleep with to whatever i think the conversations around masculinity are really interesting because pen definitely identifies more with men and she behaves in a very masculine way but she starts to see a problem with the ways in which colby treats these women that he's dating and sort of the wreckage he leaves in his wake when he just uses women as sex objects. I think this story would make a fantastic book club read. If you have a group of humans that you feel comfortable with discussing issues of identity, gender, performance. I think this book would make for a really fruitful, interesting discussion. However, I would be super hesitant to recommend this to young folks because I think the representation around being queer and being isolated and not having anyone to talk to or being supported, they're not really adequately addressed or dealt with. Like, it's true that that's a reality for many young queer folks. I was hoping for more, basically. And I think especially because this is young adult literature, to a certain extent, we want to be a little bit didactic. Like, we want to teach young people something. We want them to come away with something positive. And I'm not sure that, like, to be honest, this isn't a spoiler, but my expectations for this book was that Penn would not be alive by the end of it. Just based on the combination of things that were going on in the book, my expectation was fully that this would live up to the dead lesbian trope in media. And I don't think it's a spoiler to say that I was wrong and thank goodness I was wrong. So as much as it thankfully defied my expectations in that area, I still don't think that this is a super awesome read. I think it's important to see struggles. I think it's important to see coming out narratives. I think it's important to see queer coming of age narratives, exploration of sexual identity. But I don't know that this book does this particularly well or in a particularly satisfying way. So while I found it a really interesting read, I personally feel like if I'd read this with a book club, this would be a super fruitful book for discussion because there's so much going on here that you could discuss. I just, I don't know if it's the right book for the target market. Those are my thoughts on Girl Man's Up by M.E. Girard. Overall, from like a subjective experience reading this as an adult human who is interested in the discussions around gender, performance, sexuality, all that jazz, this was really fascinating and I enjoyed it from like a personal perspective, but as like an adult that recommends things both online and in stores, I'm not sure that I would recommend that you pick this up without knowing the types of things that you will see here and without being prepared perhaps to discuss these things with other people, to have a supportive network, to talk through some of these issues. Oh, 
one of the things that I think is really important that doesn't adequately get addressed is Penn's haircut. And I'm going to talk about this. This is an event in the book that is unexpected, technically could be considered a spoiler depending on your sensitivity to these things, but I think it's also important that you are aware of this going into it. Colby sexually assaults Penn. She never calls it sexual assault, she doesn't really tell people about it, but her reaction is a reaction of trauma. She goes home from that event and she shaves her head. The cutting of hair is often a signal of a massive personal change, like it's a, a starting fresh kind of thing, and so Colby has traumatized Penn in such a way that she feels the need for a massive physical change. Again, I think you need to know that going in. I don't think that's a spoiler in that if you are sensitive to these sorts of issues, you need to be aware going in that this is a thing that happens. And just as a human who is reading this, you just need to know so that you can prepare yourself for this. And I, I really do feel like this book benefits from being read in a group setting so that you have people to talk about these issues with. I enjoyed this, but I am in a very specific place in my life where I have people to talk to, where I have like an academic background in this. I felt okay reading this by myself, but I think Ultimately, this book is a really great book club read because it needs to be discussed. Let me know your thoughts on Girl Man's Up in the comments down below. Have you read this book before? What did you think of these issues? I would really love to hear your thoughts and your perspectives on all of the things that are going on in this text because it is a really, really fascinating read. I look forward to chatting with you guys. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you soon. Bye.